Hello everyone, welcome back to the video. My channel is down me to give you my Arsenal vs West Ham preview and lineup for our game uh, on Wednesday night, eight o'clock kickoff at the Emirates Stadium. And uh, yeah, I'm just giving you once again a live preview and video lineup um, for our game against West Ham. So yeah, as I said, guys, we're taking West Ham eight o'clock at the Emirates Stadium, 15th of December. You can watch this game on BT Sport, uh, or if you don't have BT Sport, then um, just go on like a, a live stream and find one off there. Um, and yeah, anyway, yeah. So yeah. I'm going to give you my preview and put the up for our game against West Ham. And uh, it's that time when we do play the, the Irons, the Hammers, and, and, and you know all that stuff. So, all the West Ham fans, I mean, I've got so many West Ham fans who watch me. So, hello, West Ham fans. And um, if anyone you know, wants to come on my channel after the game to talk about the game, then feel free to. But at the end of the day, mate, I can just tell you one thing, yeah? We're going to absolutely bat you. Yeah, we'll ask we'll bat West Ham. Simple as that. You know, I'm so confident with this game. I reckon we're going to win about 4-0 for me, if I'm honest. But um, no, 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 no. And in all seriousness, I'm not confident. Like, I'm being putting it out there right now. I'm not confident at all. Um, yeah, we just, you know, we've came off the back of a, a win against Southampton, being them by three goals to nil. Nice win. And we needed that win because we lost to Everton and, you know, we, we lost to Man United and all that. Uh, West Ham, on the other hand, obviously beat Chelsea. They, they, they beat Chelsea. They beat Chelsea, and I know it was at their um, ground, and obviously they're coming to the Emirates, but, uh, and I know they drew a Burnley nil-nil, but let me just say now, this is going to be a really, really tough game. This is a real test now for us. You know, let's see if this manager can, can actually do something, right, against David Moyes, because every time we played West Ham, right, last season, we you remember that game, and it was at, not at the Emirates, right, we went 3-0 down, we went 3-0 down, and we came back to, to someone get a free draw, and that game was just, it was a quality game, but I was fuming still. I was fuming with the performance, I was fuming with the result. You can't go 3-0 down to West Ham, right? And we went 3-0 down in in the first half to West Ham. Um, and then we brought it back. Uh, Lacazette, um, I think, did Odegaard score? And then I think, uh, uh, was it Lacazette again or something like that? I don't, I don't know who scored, but I do know that. We went 3-0 we went down and then we, and then we brought it back um, just to make it 3-3 free, free and... Um, even we did get a draw and it was a great comeback. It wasn't good enough. So, we can't do that again. Obviously, when we do play West Ham at the Emirates, though, it's actually all right because we seem to sort of scrape a win. Like, obviously, I'm going back to last season, but we beat them 2-1. Um, that game is fair as well. as was as second season in charge, were not it? Um, second game of the season when we went 1-0 we went up. Uh, then they got the equaliser and then we scored our last minute goal from any in KR. Um and then we beat them one nil. Just that was actually the final game, and then the whole COVID happened and all that, and we beat them one nil. Like I said, scored, um, and then that was under on certain. Then under Emery, we what was it? Was it? We beat them three one. We beat them under Wenger. Was it? Oh, what did we beat them by? Oh, see, I can't remember. Oh, four. We was four one. Lacazette scored two goals. I mean, Lacazette seems to love. To, I mean, Lacazette needs to start because he loves to score against West Ham, right? Um, but yeah, under Wenger, twenty seventeen, it was. Uh, 5-1, Alexis Sanchez scored a hat-trick um, and then 2016 we actually lost 2-0 to them so that's something we actually lost at the Emirates to West Ham was 2016 and it was 2-0 and um, yeah obviously I'm not confident I'm, I'm genuinely not confident obviously this is a game now which will actually determine the season because if we just take a look I'm going to quickly share the screen at the Premier League table quickly this is what the win could do for us and it's what a, a, a defeat or a draw could do to us. So, bring up the Premier League table very quickly. If I quickly share the screen, uh, tables. Right, bear with me one second, guys. I will be doing obviously my lineup in a minute. I my score prediction, but if we just share the screen quickly, this is this is how crucial this win. So, as it stands now, we are in. Is this not sharing? Right, share. As it stands now, we're in sixth place here. Uh, we're, we're one point off. We're sorry, we're one point off Man United, but two points off fourth. So a win could take us into the top four, right? Man, Man United do play for us against Brentford. I think they'll win, so they'll probably go. They're going to the top four before West Ham play us. Um, but a win could see us going fifth, one point off top four. West Ham dropping down, and we can actually might have a chance to get into top four this season. But a defeat. Right, Spurs are uh, playing I think Leicester. They've got two games in hand. They'll they can go above us. Leicester, if they beat Spurs, then you know they'll be in amongst it. And then we've got, we've got, we've got like Wolves and Brighton still got to play a game in hand. So yeah, it may we cannot lose this. We've got to win, right? We've got to win. My 
my school prediction. Let's go to that then, guys. You know, I reckon I'm going to go 2 on Arsenal. I just think it'll be a 2 on Arsenal win, if I'm going to I think I'm more confident. I Realistically, I think West Ham will probably actually do us. I've just got the thing. I've just got the thing that this when we come out against these and seem like Man United, when we come out against these and seem like, you know, well, everyone even decent, but we when we play these types of games, right, West Ham is a really tough game. I'd say it gets found out all the time. And I think it's going to be no different. I think we're going to lose this. Um, I hate saying it, but I just think we're going to lose this. Um, maybe it maybe was about 2-1 or something. Or one all draw. But I'm going to sit with 2-1 Arsenal. I'm not confident at all, guys. Can we also win some below? Let's just get right into the center screen. Um, we're going to do a combined 11 as well. Because this is going to be interesting. A combined 11, Arsenal-West Ham. There's, there will be quite a few. Um, I think it will be, will, will be quite even. It's based on this season. It'll be quite even. So, just for the lineup that I'll go for, uh, we're using good old footbin and we love footbin. Uh, of course, it's going to have to be my man, Aaron Ramsdale. Um, in the sticks, mate. In the sticks, Ramsdale. Uh, we're going goal for me. Leno, of course, is going to get a chance against Sunderland. Uh, there, will, there will be a match day vlog. I'm bringing a match day vlogs back for the Sunderland game because I'm, I'm going to that, guys. And I'm going to Wolves as well and Burnley. So, I expect match day vlogs for that. But anyway. Um, of course, Tommy Cafu, who was actually Tommy Cafu against uh, Southampton one you superb. We're going right back and the same procedure with ben Benjamin White. There he is, Ben White. I should have used his inform, but who cares? Right, we're going to White and of course, Gabriel. <sighs> Gabriel, my gosh. Here he is, Gabriel. Uh, left back, I'm going to go for Kieran Tierney. Keeping his sport, I thought he was absolutely amazing. Against Southampton, he's, the past few games he's shown how much quality he, he you know, he is. Uh, in number two, I'm going to go with Martin Odegaard. Does that, do not stop him, right? He's got three goals in three games. He's flying right now. Smith throws going to get a chance for me. He's going to get another red, but Odegaard deserves to start. Uh, midfield, I'm going to go for Sambi. Okonga. And we're throwing... We're throwing party because he seems to play every single game, but yeah, he's been he's playing absolutely shocking at the moment. So yeah, party will go. Send him in and now for the front three, right hand side, I'm gonna go for Pepe's only get a chance, is he? Um It's gonna have to be Saka. It's gonna have to be Saka because Pepe ain't gonna get a chance. Personally, I, I will play Pepe. But it's gonna have to be kind of Saka. And often as main striker, I'm gonna go with Lacazette scored against like Southampton, he's using decent form. Abamian is an absolute disgrace. I'm, I'm, I might make a separate video uh, for like the whole uh, for the whole Abamian situation. Um, so left hand side is called Scarborough Martinelli. Once again, deserves to start in my opinion. Where is he, Martinelli? Where is he? Oh, I've asked what his name was. Uh, maybe he's got goalkeepers. That's why. Uh, Martin. There it is. So yeah, that's my lineup, guys. Let me know what you think. Len Ramsdale, uh, Tommy Ashu White, Gabriel Tierney, uh, Lukonga Pai, Odegaard, Saka, Lacazette, and Gabriel Martin. Now, if we did, did a combined eleven, Ramsdale or Ar Arizola, Ramsdale, Tommy Ashu or who is uh Johnson? That's quite tough. I'm gonna go Tommy Ashu. Uh, Ben White's gonna be, you know. No, not for me. I'm still not keeping on Ben White. I'm going to be honest, but anyway, we're going to bring in uh, Zuma. Kurt Zuma for West Ham. He's been decent for them. He will go next to Gabriel. Uh, Chris Wells has been really good for West Ham, but Tini's going to keep turning there, in my opinion. This way, some things are going to change. We'll take out the Congo, Partey, and what we're going to do is we're going to bring in Declan Rice. See you guys, you see what you see what I mean by it? it's you know gonna be quite even. Um who's that other midfielder? Suchek. That's it, Suchek, Suchek, Suchek. There he is, man, that's almost Suchek. Uh yeah, so you can see it's quite even. Saka oh, Bowen man, he's been sick, but Saka's been good as well. What I might do is I, I might get rid of Martinelli quickly. And I might put Bayern on this side because I think Bayern does deserve to be in there. I know he's a right win. Uh, can, can we swap them around? We're going to swap Saka and Bayern around. 
just like that. And they're not friends with Striker. It's going to have to be Mikel Antonio because, you know, he's just been, he's been levels by Aubameyang. And Lacazette is quite debatable. So we're going to go with Antonio. Where is he? Where is he? Is he? Is he? He's on FIFA, ain't he? Uh, Antonio. Um, where's Antonio? Oh, Jesus. Right, we're going to have to go with... Club. Uh... West Ham. Here he is, Antonio. There he is. There he is. There he is. So that's gonna be my video lineup, guys. Let me know what you think. Gramsdale, uh, let's combine Tommy Ashley, Zuma, Gabriel, Tierney, Suchek, uh, Odegaard, Rice, Bowen, Antonio, and Sako. So let me know, guys, what you think about that. Make sure to smash my like I said, I'm flipping. We win two, two one. Come on, you guys. Let's hopefully just get put in performance, please. Put in performance. Let's get the win.